today is Monday the 10th yeah 10th um the weekend just gone has was absolute shite Matthew has got the attitude of a 16 year old he's constantly answering back winding George up fighting screaming and George has been really angry this weekend um so yesterday we decided to go to the beach um, and we took Sophie and her twins, Lucas and Leighton. Um, and it was funny because we made a joke that, uh, I made a joke. I wonder what it's like for families who get to sit down on a towel and, you know, chill out for a while and stuff like that. And of course, we never get to experience that because George is always at 100 miles an hour. Famous last words. George got in his swimming trunks, he went into the water, he was really happy. He came back to where me and Sophie were sat, got the towel out and sat down. And of course, I don't like warm weather. I hate it. Um, but when you're on the beach with George, generally it's not too bad because you're running after him. So you haven't really got time to think about it. Well, we were sat down for a while and um, you can't really see it as well on camera, but down here on my face is burnt my arms that's what they did look like and now they're red and my shins <laughs> so i feel like i'm having some fun with sandpaper at the moment and my forehead feels really tight um and then george on friday came home and was in a mood because he kicked something and scuffed the front of his shoe, so I did a mad dash to buy him some new school shoes, so he wore those this morning. Matthew's got swimming lessons all week, which he's nervous about, um, because he doesn't want to be thrown in the deep end, even though I've assured him that, you know, that doesn't happen. So I've just gone and picked up George's prescription for his melatonin, and I need to ring the CDC to see if we can have his dosage up because he's only on two milligrams uh, tablets. Um, and we're hoping we can get that up because it's literally doing nothing at this point. I think it's just part of his daily routine to have it. Um, so I need to do that. And yeah, Adam's back to work. So um, that two weeks felt like the longest but shortest two weeks for a long time. And it was nice to have him home and helping and, you know, yeah, it's just nice to have him here. So his next two weeks off, we'll be in the summer holidays. So yeah, that was our weekend, quite dramatic and lots of throwing and fighting and Adam's poor PS4 old remote is looking battered and bruised and held together with sellotape when George is at home no one else gets to touch the remote or the TV so it won't be long I think you can hear it there's something loose inside there so yeah Monday here is to a hopefully with any luck positive week and applying lots of um, E45 <laughs>
So Matthew, today is your last day of half term. What did you do today for some independence training? Short term. Oh, Come on, then. Just tell, tell us, tell us what happened. In the so what happened? Um, you said I can get to the shop on my own to get myself a chocolate bar. Hang on, what? No, what happened first? Mum said. Math, can you get me something nice to eat? <laughs> yeah. And then I, then we said, why don't we use it as a chance for you to go get yourself, like, your supper? And you went up the shop on your own, didn't you? Or on yourself, safely, come back. Mum was a bit scared, wasn't she? Huh? Yeah. But it's kind of natural, right? Mm. Why do you think it's natural? Because mums always wor- mums always always worry about their sons. That's right, and their daughters. Yeah. So you went up and got your chalk, come back, and mum was waiting for you, wasn't she? Yeah, I took the bins in too. And even brought the bins back in. Didn't you? So, just a, a, another thing. You're learning to do stuff by yourself. You don't need us to do everything for you, do you? Well done. Like that. Yeah, I like doing that. Mm, Perfect. Ouch! Well done, mate. So I thought I'd end the video out in the sunshine with me squinting into the camera with George's Acer tree behind me just because it's a bit bright in the outside. I wanted to end the video there um, because there's not a lot else to say over the weekend. It was a bit of a mess until Sunday till we went to the beach um, but I, I wanted to put that video out just to show the positive time we had when we were out the George sitting down just never ever happens so yeah that was um, that was really really good and just makes it worthwhile all the battles that we do have sometimes to have a positive so yeah a positive end to the weekend it is Monday as Amy said at the beginning of the video Matthew started swimming lessons this week which we will touch back on later on in the week we'll see how he gets on because the first day more than likely he's not going to be he's going to be best pleased because he's not going to be swimming the second he gets in the water so we'll touch base at the end of the week hope you're all good catch you on the next one bye for now